Hi everyone, Apple, Adobe, Amazon, Cisco, DE Show, Google, Intuit, Microsoft, Meta, Nutanix, Netflix, Oracle, Qualcomm, Salesforce, Uber, Zoom and a long list. They all focus on your ability to use data structures and algorithms to solve any real world problems. Data structures and algorithms are the core element of any technical or coding interview. So let's see a few examples of data structures in real life. We will start with examples of arrays. Number one, your phone contact list. It's an alphabetically sorted array. Number two, movie ticket booking. It's a classic example of a 2D array. When you book a movie ticket, you choose row and column like J6. And this arrangement of a row and column is a 2D array. Number three, image processing. You must have heard about this term. Image processing is performing some operation on image to get information out of it. In this, image processing system treats all images as a 2D array of pixels. Let's move to examples of stack. Number one, expression evaluation. A stack is used to evaluate infix, prefix, and postfix expressions. Here, operators and operands are pushed onto the stack and operations are performed based on the operator's stack's top elements. Number two, undo redo operation. Doing undo or redo operation on your Word document uses a stack at the back end. If you are interested in knowing how it is being done using stacks, then check out the link given in the description. It's a good interview question. Next is examples of queue. Number one, printer service. A classic example of a queue. Consider you have three PDF files, A, B, and C. You will give print instructions to the printer for A, then B, and then C. Now, the printer will print PDF files in order of first come, first serve. Number two, request to server. A lot of requests have been made to the server by multiple users. All requests get queued up. The server serves the request based on first come, first serve. Number three, player sequence. In multiplayer games like Ludo, player sequence has been maintained using a circular queue. Next is examples of linked list. Previous next in Google Drive, forward backward in browser, and playing previous next song in a media player are the classic example of a linked list, or more specifically, doubly linked list. Now we are moving to the favorite data structures of most of the companies, trees and graphs. Examples of trees. Number one, auto-suggestion. Auto-suggestion in search bar uses prefix tree, which is also called try. Number two, indexing in DBMS. Database uses tree for indexing. V trees are mostly used. Number three, comments over LinkedIn post. Comments are the children of a post. Consider post as a root node and all comments are the child nodes associated or connected with a post. Next is examples of graphs. Number one, social media apps, your favorite. Here, every user is represented using a graph node and if that user is a friend of X, then user node is connected to the X node which is represented by the edge of the graph. Number two, Google Maps. Every city is represented using a graph node and the routes connecting these cities are represented by the edges of the graph. Just for your information, Google Maps shows the shortest path between two cities by applying Digistra and A-Star algorithm. That's it from my side. Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time.